What is up guys, Nick here, and uh, it's going back. Guess what's going back? The iPad Pro, don't ask me why it's in this big old bag. Just know that if it rains, we don't got time for Apple products getting wet around these parts. But you see this right here? The iPad is going back today, right now. And I wanna explain to you in this video why the iPad Pro is going back to the Apple Store. You can see I have it all boxed back up. And there's a reason. So I made a lot of videos, helpful videos, reviews, and things. You can watch it on the channel. But I want to share my experience on why I'm taking it back. The 9.7 Pro is why I'm taking it back. And let me explain why. The iPad Pro 10.5 brings great additions to the 9.7. It brings a 120 hertz display for a GBs of RAM. Um, it also brings a better camera. Yeah, so it brings a 7 megapixel camera to the iPad here, you know. It does also have 64 gigs of storage, so it does double on the 9.7. But, you know, after the novelty wore off a few days later after using it, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm already used to this 120 hertz display. I'm not getting really anything more productive done on this iPad Pro than the already existing 9.7 that I currently own. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should just return this thing and go with maybe a smaller Windows PC because I've been looking for something small that can replace a laptop. And this is actually a tricky market right now because there's not a lot of products that can do an all-in-one device and handle 4K, you know, have all the ports. It's really, you got to do your research when it comes to these smaller laptops. We got the XPS. We got like the MacBook 12 inch, but that thing is kind of underpowered. And then you got on the Windows side of thing, you got like the Lenovo Yoga series. But the iPad Pro is a really powerful tablet, but still there's a lot of things you got to do extra to go ahead and get this thing to work for your everyday life. So I don't know. I'm thinking I might get the iPad Pro 12.9, see if that can be more productivity based than the 9.7. But this definitely is not here. But what do you guys think? Do you think the iPad Pro is, you know, a worthy upgrade over the 9.7? Do you think it changes that much? To me, it, it is a better tablet overall. Definitely a better tablet pretty much across the board. But it's not so much better that you have to run out and get this right now unless you just got to have an iPad. Now, if you're a first-time iPad Pro user, like you're, it's the first time you're going to just now try out iPad, I think this is definitely the one you should pick up, the 10.5 or the 12.9. The 10.5 is probably the better all-around device due to the fact that it's not unwieldy, it's not too large. But overall, yeah, the iPad Pro to me is still not replacing a portable PC. There's just times when you run into things you need and you're just not getting it. And it's due to the fact that it runs a mobile operating system. It's similar to when Surface had the Surface RT platform and they had like that Windows mobile store only. You couldn't get programs off the Windows. It was kind of a useless device. And when they brought full Windows to the Surface line, then it became a more viable option for people who wanted to replace their laptops with a portable thing like that. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up here for me. iPad Pro is going back. This is why I returned it. Um, did you pick one up? Are you thinking about picking up? Did this help you out deciding maybe I shouldn't get that? I got a Pro. Let me know down below. Any video suggestions, comments, feedbacks, drop it down below. We'll chat about that. Have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well. Nick here helping you to master your technology and peace. The iPhone 7, 7 megapixel camera, it brings that as well. But the... <laughs>